need everybody to give me five. Okay, give me four, three, two, and one. Good job. Okay, so boys and girls, I have a question for you today. You know how sometimes in the morning when you come in and you have a story to tell me. What do you do when you tell me the story, Jada? Right, you do raise your hand, but what else? When you're telling me a story, what do you give me? Details. Good job, good job, Destiny. You give me details about the story. And then at the end, what do you, What else do you tell me when you're telling me a story? Yes, Tristany. Yeah, you do give me a closing, good job, but you give me the main... Idea. Good job, you give me the main idea of a story. Okay, so that is what we're going to talk about today. We are going to talk about the main idea and the details of the story. Now, you remember before we, we talked about the book, the bee tree. Good job. The bee tree. And we talked about what was our other book? Mr. 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 Good job. All right. Thank you for raising your hands. And can remember my friends to raise your hand. All right. So we talked about the main idea or the central message of those books. So our new book that we are going to talk about the main idea and the key details is called My Librarian is a Camel. It's how books are brought to children around the world. Now, um, our essential question, what we will answer today states that how will I determine the main idea of a text, recount the details, and state how it supports the main idea by writing an informative topic with facts, definitions, and details. Because once we are done with this lesson, you will work in your groups and you will um, choose a country from this book. And you will write details and you will give me details about the story. But we'll get to that at the end. Okay, um, Gabby, I need you to read my first I can statement. This will tell, tell you what we can do. Read that for me. No, right here. Oh, I can mm -hmm. be determined. Determine the main idea of a text. Uh huh. Read. How? Recount the key details. Details. Uh huh. Discuss. State. State. I mean. Uh huh. How could. Uh, how it. Support. Support. Mm -hmm. Good job. Um, Tristany, read that second I can statement for me. Jekyll, it is a 
Good job. It is a non-fiction book. What does non-fiction books do? Trinity. Good job. They explain what is real. Good job. All right. So as we are reading, okay, you have your chart. Okay. This is your chart. Okay. Right here. So once we finish reading, we're going to write down the main idea, okay, and the key details on this chart. Okay, make sure your name is on your paper, anywhere on your paper, please. All right, so while I am reading, you are going to listen for these key details, okay? Where the library travels, the kind of library, and how children respond to the books, okay? All right, y'all should be on the introduction. Introduction, yes, baby. All right, everybody's at the introduction. Turn to the introduction. 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 Yes, uh, Tristan A. Please, hurry, please. Introduction. Everybody should be on this page right here. If you do not see it, please keep flipping. It will say introduction. Please do not write on these packets. Remember, Destiny, do not write on these packets. Everybody should be at the introduction. The introduction. Keep flipping till you see an I. Yes, there you go. Introduction. All right. All right, I need you to follow along as I read aloud, okay? Follow along. So several years ago, I read a newspaper article about a camel in Kenya that, you, that was used to bring books to young people who lived in remote desert villages. I wondered how else books might be brought to children in other parts of the world. My research turned all, up all sorts of mobile libraries. What do we think mobile means? The word mobile. Zariah. Okay. Um, almost. Destiny, what do we think mobile means? Mobile means Okay, but when I say I'm mobile, what does that mean if I say I'm mobile? What am I doing, Tristan? Walking. Walking. Or I could be driving. driving. Okay, so when something says, okay, I'm mobile, that means a moving, I like how you said, um, Destiny, kind of like a moving library. That's why they call it mobile. Okay. My research turned up all sorts of mobile libraries. Libraries that moved on legs, on wheels, and by any other means. I was thrilled to learn how far people would go to put books in the hands of young readers. I began to contact librarians in faraway places. They responded by sharing information, personal stories, and photos of their mobile libraries and of the young people who use them. Over time, I assembled a scrapbook of mobile libraries from all over the world. Developing this book has been a rewarding and exciting experience. Woo. From Azerbaijan to Zimbabwe, I discovered people who are passionate about books and who understand the importance of libraries in our lives. One librarian in Azerbaijan explained that the library is as important as air and water. Maybe you have been taking your local library for granted, just as I did. Next time you buy books, think of how lucky you are to be able to choose from all those free books and to take home as many as you wish. 
The librarians and volunteers who bring books by camel or elephant or by boat inspired me. And I hope they inspire you too. Okay, so what was some of the mobile, how did people get to the library's destiny? By, by boat, by camel, or by elephant. Good job. And some of them were what, Tristany? Remember they said some of them were on? Um, Tevin? What were some of them on, Ava? Okay, but some of them were on, remember at the beginning I said, Destiny? Wheels. Wheels, good job. Some of them were on wheels. Okay, good job, my friends. All right, now let's flip over. Now we're going to the Australia page. I need everybody following along. It says Australia. You got it? Yes, I'll share your cards with the A. Good job, friends. Good job. Please let's remember our manners. Okay? All right, so now this is the chapter we are going to talk about today. We're going to talk about Australia and the mobile libraries that go to Australia. Okay, as I'm reading aloud, you follow along, okay? So, in Australia, there are more than 5,000 libraries. How many libraries? 5,000 libraries. Good job. About 72 of these libraries are on wheels. So, how many are on wheels? 72. Good job, 72. Some mobile libraries cover the Gold Coast, a strip of beaches in the state of Queensland that runs north from the border with New South Wales toward Brisbane, the state capital. Huge truck, I'm sorry, huge trucks and trailers carry thousands of books to children who cannot go to a library in the city. Travis, a librarian, travels on one of the trucks. He stops at schools to talk about books and to tell stories. Follow along on your paper. Follow along on your paper, thank you. Some stories leave children with something to think about, says Travis. Others bring laughter or tears. So books can bring what? Laughter or tears. Good job, laughter or tears. Okay, stories can get kids excited about books and reading, so they borrow lots of books. The mobile library that Travis runs is more than a truck. It is a solar-powered, high-tech, Library, that sounds, that sounds interesting, Dalvin. And it had a lot of vocabulary in it, words in it. Solar power, high and tech. Wow. So the solar panel is on top of the trunk. I mean, truck, I'm sorry. Inside are six computers and a printer powered by UPS, an un uninterrupted power supply unit, which is charged from a bank of batteries. All right. So the truck comes with three air conditioning units, two banks of fluorescent lights, nine spotlights, and a stereo system with surround sound. That is a lot in the truck, right? Oh, uh, yeah, a mobile library, because you got surround sound, um, fluorescent lights, and a stereo. So it also features a wheelchair lift, a microwave oven, a small refrigerator, a toilet, and two sinks. All of these units are powered by a bank of constantly recharging batteries. The solar panel provides a small current to the batteries that keeps them alive and running. Now, how is this powered by Trinity? It's powered by um, almost, what is it powered by, uh, Destiny? Uh, electric battery. Right, an electric battery okay and then run it is what kind of power um Jenayla? what kind of power look in your reading it starts with an s look in your reading it's what type of power marley thank you solar powered yes high tech battery good job all right next page 
Did I read what was on the back? Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Yes, I didn't think it was going to end that quickly. Okay, all right. So we will talk about Azazer, Azazer Bajan, Azazer Bajan tomorrow, okay? All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go over the key details. Remember when I said we're going to listen for where the library travels, the kind of library, and how children respond to the books, okay? So where does the library travel? Raise your hand. Trinity. Good job. The library travels in Australia. That was our chapter was about. Our chapter was about Australia. Okay? And what kind of library is it? I need somebody other than Trinity. Jaquela. Good job. It is a mobile library. Okay? And how do the children respond to the books? Somebody tell me other than, thank you, Rob. Right. Well, those are the types of books. Remember, he said those are types of books. But how does the children respond? Yes, Destiny. Um, happy. Right, they're happy. Okay. And how many mobile libraries in Australia is there? Mm, raise your hand. Thank you. Um, Langley. No, not quite. Remember, Destiny. 70 what? I'm talking about in Australia. How many mobile libraries? Not how many libraries? Remember, mobile. Look back in your reading. Come on, let's look in our reading. How many does it say? Let's take a sentence, Tristan. No, that's how many libraries are in Australia. How many are mobile, Zoraya? 72. Good job. PBIS points. 72. There are 72 mobile libraries. Now, how many libraries are, are there in Australia? Yes, Destiny? 5,000. Good job. 5,000. All right. So, what is the, somebody tell me, what is the library like inside? You look at your reading. Look at your reading if you need help. What is it like inside? Okay, Tristany. Um, Say it again. I can't really hear you. Good job. It has a small refrigerator, toilet, a microwave. What's some other things, uh, Trinity? Uh, it has a stove. Oh. Two sinks. Right. And what what else does it have, Destiny? Um, it has a DVD. It has a box on the desk, and there's a desk in my room. Right, good job, good job. So it has a stove, it has a wheelchair ramp. And remember what it said, it has a stereo, it has fluorescent lights. Remember that? Thank you, Jamar. The um hello, Demarcus. Alright. So why do the library travel to the Gold Coast? Why do they travel to the Gold Coast? Let's look at our reading. Why do they travel to the Gold Coast? Let's take a gander. Oh, I mean, a guess, not a gander. I'm sorry. Let's take a guess. Why do... Okay, what we learn, what we're learning about? Australia. Australia. Good job. Mobile library. So take a guess. Why would it travel to the Gold Coast? Because there are... There you go. Children that need books. Okay? It is... The Gold Coast is on a coast covered by water. So they are traveling. Mobile libraries are traveling to places where children need books. Okay? So... Why do you think 
children borrow so, so, so many books? Why do we think no children borrow so many books? Why, um, Langley? Right, so they can read. And reading does what? Helps, helps people to learn. Good job. Thank you, Demarcus. Okay, all right, we'll handle that. Thank you. All right, so what in different ways do the children react to the books? I remember Rock was saying it earlier, I believe.
you will be doing for later on in the week, okay? You are going to research a country. We're gonna go through all these countries, but you are going to research the one of these countries as a group, okay? And you are going to write down the key details, the main idea, the key details of the chapter, like we talked about up here. We talked about where the library travels, the type of library, and how children respond to the books, okay? So you will be answering those questions in your group, okay? So, what did we talk about today? Our I can statement. Remember our I can statement? We can what? Um, Gabrielle, read the first I can statement. I can determine. Determine the mind. I mean, main. Main idea of a text. Uh huh. Read that. Yeah. Yes. 